fundraising for resource mobilization, do you get sleep resources? Yes, we do. Um, so, so that I think this this tradition. So, the develop a strategic plan. Then we also did. Uh, we went through a program that uh, assesses uh, organizational capacity, mm -hmm. where you do you do an official capacity assessment, self assessment tool, mm -hmm. where you can be able to tell where you are in the different departments, so mm -hmm. whether it's health, education, you know, I mean programs, mm -hmm. um, um, HR, mm -hmm. finance. Mm -hmm. So every year we develop a culture mm -hmm. where we do a self assessment as an organization mm -hmm. where we are at, mm -hmm. and then develop like a a one-year plan of where to improve on, which has been uh, now our culture. Mm -hmm. So even that you've got resource mobilization as a department, mm -hmm. you identify your organized weaknesses and develop mm -hmm. a plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do that and they began paying off. Mm -hmm. We began getting, you know, uh, donors. Mm -hmm. We brought them, we got uh, Sida, Sweden mm -hmm. as a donor. DFID again, mm -hmm. now funded us now for education. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing we actually did was that uh, we also recognized that uh, we need to have a holistic approach to programming, mm -hmm. not just health, mm -hmm. as a result of that process. So we expanded from health mm -hmm. to education, mm -hmm. uh, leadership and governance, mm -hmm. um, economic empowerment. Mm -hmm. So we expanded our scope of our program. Mm -hmm. So then we were able to diversify our funding. Mm -hmm. People were funded, you know, so as I said, the DFID, CEDA, mm -hmm. we were funded by UNFPA, mm -hmm. we were funded by UNICEF. Mm -hmm. Um, Eric, so that was enabled us to really diversify the people who fund us mm -hmm. and even our off product of us. Mm -hmm. So, um, two aspects that you've spoken about there diversifying funding, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's diversifying programs yeah. and then diversifying product offers. Yes. Yeah. I want to touch on those two, yeah. but yes. separately. Yeah. Uh, diversifying uh, programs. Mm -hmm. Um, what so at this point? Mm. Um, I mean, this I'm sure they have been gradual, yes. diversifying yes. programs have been yeah. gradual, or was it just no, it was gradual, it was gradual, yeah. Which was the first, uh, I at this point, are you still just having universities, or uh, is that a point where you start working with another, uh, yes, yeah, another, another yeah. branch or, yeah. um, another category of your. Of you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so we realized that yes, we were conducting a peer education program, mm -hmm. but we needed to have it uh, uh, unique. Okay. So then we called our peer education program the SEALS program. Mm -hmm. uh, SEALS, mm -hmm. one based on the US Navy SEALS. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to create that imagery. Mm -hmm that uh, we are working with a segment of population that are warriors, mm -hmm. that will be the, the change agent for the nation, mm -hmm. that will take responsibility for what this country is growing and okay. say, I'm not going to wait for somebody else to mm -hmm. step in. I'm going to step in now. Okay. And I'm going to fight and be a warrior and fight for my nation, mm -hmm. even if I die doing it mm -hmm. and trying it. Mm -hmm. So that was the first imagery. Okay. That these young people were not created to be the ordinary young person. Mm. They were created to be warriors. Mm. They were created to become change agents for the nation. Mm. And we wanted to customize the program mm. such that it can deliver that. Mm -hmm. But the second part was the SEAL also stands for sexual reproductive health, mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. access to uh, employability and economic empowerment, mm -hmm. leadership and governance. Mm -hmm and then uh, safety, security, and spiritual protection. Right, yeah. so each of those has a, each of those is an acronym. It's an acronym, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. The US Navy seems, I don't know whether, yeah, we're at upside for finding C, C, A, and land, so mm -hmm. it's an acronym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, so we wanted to sort of make sure that those two are kept in balance. Mm -hmm. right? And so that was the first thing, packaging the program mm -hmm. so that uh, there's a clear branding to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the training is sort of structured right. so that it's clear what program we're going through. Mm. We also began saying that empower 10 to 100. So the goal mm. was, we'll empower you 
but you're supposed to reach a hundred dollars. Mm. This was never meant for you. Mm. It was meant for you as a channel of blessing mm. and transformation mm. to another 100. Mm -hmm. So that was another sort of idea. Mm. But then what, what we also began observing is that uh, the sexual pattern, because we can kept collecting data mm -hmm. and we began seeing, well, um, students initially, when they came to university as first years, 50% were virgins, mm -hmm. that number began decreasing, mm -hmm. that percentage. Mm -hmm. So then we quickly realized that we need to begin intervening in high school because by the time we were in the university, mm -hmm. it would be too late. Mm -hmm. So then we went back and began now expanding to high schools. Okay. And uh, so whichever counties we are working in, mm -hmm. uh, then have a high school program. Mm -hmm. And then those high school students mm -hmm. will then be the ones that enter the university and mm -hmm. continue with our program. Mm -hmm. And um, believe it or not, the last time we did data, mm -hmm. Um, the data that we were seeing about 20 years ago of sexuality in first year, mm -hmm. now we were seeing that data in form one. You're kidding? Yes. There were actually two things that are very shocking. What? So, in terms of, because you know, percentages, huh? mm. uh, the percentage, the percentage of the kids that are sexually active in form one mm. were the same as what we were seeing in the university back then back then so sort of like 50 percent yes but also <sighs> something else had flipped mm -hmm. uh you don't know when matiangi announced uh, i think there was a time kids stayed at home for a long time this during this COVID period it was actually, there was another period they stayed there was you remember there was the exam cheating Oh yes, some yes, years back. Some yes. years back. Mm -hmm. And then they decided is that uh, it's only from four who would be staying in school. Yeah. Everybody else would go off. Home. Yes. That was a trans a change in sexuality of young people in this country. Mm -hmm. Because you know, so you've got all these from ones, from twos and from three that are at home mm -hmm. for like I don't know, I don't remember two months or whatever period of time. Mm -hmm. When we looked at that data, we realized from one were more sexually active than four fours. My goodness. Yeah. And so, so you come to form. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a form one and I'm yeah. thinking, yeah. you're a child. You're a child. But the graph, because when drawing the graphs, you see, generally you expect a, a, a linear growth where you got form one, yeah, form two, there, form three, there. Form four, four, yeah. We can sort of have a conversation. Yeah. But, but it was actually reversed. Oh. You were the highest sexuality form one. From two and from four. So there was a reverse. And there were three things that happened actually. Mm -hmm. And as a country, we are not aware of it that drew drove sexuality. Okay. One is the staying away of kids at home. Mm -hmm. The second, we're also having an expansion and a, a, a growing, a very rapid expansion of, um, of uh, mo mobile technology and access. All right. So you're having a lot of kids accessing uh, pornographic materials online. And then there's also an explosion of border borders. So you're having kids being transported to school. By border borders. Yes. So those are the perpetrators. Yes. And then instead of paying in cash, this transaction of sex. Yeah. So we didn't realize that until we looked at the data, we realized, wait a minute. I mean, this is not, this is something not making any sense. When you, yeah. Oh. yeah. When you add it up, when you add it all up, those are the yeah. factors. Those are the, key. Those are the variables around yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I know but weird. this, I, I'm, I'm thinking a 41 year old is 13, 14. Yeah. 16 at most. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, age of sexual debut then. Yes. It's changed. It's come much lower. Yeah. So, hence why the then need for intervention. Yes. Start them early. Start them early. Yeah. So, yeah. you start intervening yeah. at, at high school. At high school. Yes. All right. Uh, and, and, and and your programs now are yeah. in every county where you probably have a yeah. university setting. Yeah. You're yes. working with the universities, right. but you're also working with some families. Some yeah, in fact, we're doing both. So then you, when you are doing in school, high school, mm -hmm. then to think about our county, so our structure now is the high school population you are intervening in. Mm -hmm. Then you identify one university in that particular county, mm -hmm. you intervene. 
but also challenge these university students also to give back to high school. Right. Because you don't wanna you want them to begin giving back. Yeah. And then some of them transition to community, so you're also having a, out, of a out of school intervention. Yeah. So right now that's when we come to our county, that's how our program is structured. All right. Um we'll work in a sub county mm. and we'll have a thousand in school, mm. a thousand uh, university students, mm. and a thousand um, uh, out of school. Out of school, yeah. Out of school. So yeah. Three thousand. All right. Three thousand. Uh, um, so when you combine that, it's three thousand. Those are supposed to be the seals. Mm. Each one of them is supposed to help out ten others. Mm. So that's thirty thousand. Mm. And then our model counties are um, ten. Mm. So it's going to be about three hundred thousand. Mm. Mm. So let's let's go back a, a bit. Mm. So to when did you, which was your first model county, and when was that? Uh, Nairobi. Nairobi. Nairobi was always like a where we experiment things, mm -hmm. and try things. Mm -hmm. There are two counties that I sort of play around with. Mm -hmm. One is Nairobi because you know this is the headquarters, mm -hmm. and uh, if you can uh, if you can make it happen here, mm -hmm. you can make it happen. And even Nairobi, mm -hmm. we pilot a lot with Kibra mm -hmm. because you know we figure Kibra is like <laughs> the worst mm -hmm. in terms of. Uh, uh, development outcomes for yeah development of the outcomes mm. for some of the worst indicators mm. and so if you can pull out if you can pull off anything in Kibra mm. then you can pretty much scale you know, it scale it up mm. uh, the county I tend to work a lot in my channel mm -hmm. uh, because that's my own county mm. and what I believe in is that uh, one all of us need to give back to the communities which we you know mm -hmm. we come from. Mm. Uh, second, there are things that I can say in Machakos and mm. get away with, mm. but I cannot do that mm -hmm. in other countries. Mm. I mean, you can go there and literally insult them and tell them, you know, uh, you guys are all a bunch of idiots mm. and, you know, I'm one of you, mm. so why are you going to take me? Mm. But let's face it, mm. we are stupid mm. and we need to change. Mm. So I, I can, can get away with things like that. Mm. But thirdly, I think also, uh, I figure out uh, it's very easy to to experiment things in Machaco with the Bona mm. I can put my own uh, resources and um, develop human equity, sweat equity that you don't need donor funding for. Mm. So a lot of stuff that I do in Machaco is not even funded. Mm. But you're able to experiment with that. Mm. And then once you see what's working, mm. then you can think about scaling up. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then the third one? Uh, the third county worked quite a lot is was You was is a third county for yeah. Spain. Yes. Yeah. And I've also lived in the was Eldoret quite a bit. Okay. Eldoret. In fact, Eldoret was my like my first home. Yeah. And my was my second. Yeah. Mentioned. So those. Yeah. Three. So those three have been. Okay. Well, yeah. Close done. to heart. Yeah.